tomatoes will produce two or three tomatoes in each branch. Here you can see that we produce two, six, eight, ten, twelve. That is high production. Now, if you see here the size of the tomato, this tomato is still not mature. Normally, if it will, this tomato will be harvested in uh, Puebla or any other part that will have to travel a lot, it has to be cut greener, greener than this. So when the time they arrive over here, it will be mature. However, the flavor will be completely different. Now, if you follow me, I want to show you something. See, all this irrigation system comes from here. These are the, through here comes the water, and it jets the water directly to the roots of the plant. Now the plant absorbs the water and nutrients that it needs, and the rest just goes down, drains down here, goes through a piping system all the way to the very end, and we collect the rest of the water. So nothing is filtered to the ground. No pollution at all. Now, you can see here, look at this. Normally the production in this environment goes very, very, very fast. Now, you have to understand that this flavor, this flavor is completely different from anything that you have proven or eating. Not only by the mature process, but also, there's no chemicals, it's all environmentally friendly. Now, if we go this way, please, I'm going to show you something that we are uh, proud of. And this is, see the size of the plants over here? I'm going to show you this, as you see, they are all uniform, basically. No one grows more than the other, because the nutrients and the amount of water is all regulated and controlled by a system, a sophisticated system computer, computer system that we have down here. Now, look at the size of these plants and look at the size of these ones. Three days difference. That's all. You look at these ones down here, two days difference. Now, if you see, the plant over here, in reference to the, the first ones that we saw, the product still very young. Now, in the amount of time, it's very little time if you compare with that production to this. The production over here will explode within the next five days. Five, six days, you will see more flowers and the production and the tomato get bigger. Now, once the harvest, and once we finish this harvest, all this, which is, this here is not earth. This is a fabric of um, cocoa, coconut. The, co the fiber of the coconut is shredded, cleaned, it, disinfected through ultraviolet and everything, so it doesn't have no bacteria, and then puts into these sacks. It's like a composter. This what it does is maintains the humidity and maintains the nutrients so the roots will explode all, all around. They don't have no parts with, uh, like the ground when it gets hard. So they absorb, I mean they absorb, the plant absorbs constantly nutrients from and water from the ground, from this area. Now when this is gone, when the harvest is gone, we take this out, replace it with the new ones, and all what is here goes shredded again and clean it and disinfect it. So no one bacteria that could have, because remember, even that uh, there are no harm bacteria, but here, bacteria are formed, like fungus. So if one, we get a fungus in one area, it could destroy eventually other harvest. So that goes all to this infection. Now you go to see this here, touch this. This is very, very hot. Touch it. This is what we've been changing. If you've seen the other ones, we already have it covered. 
because we are trying to protect the plant from the irradiation of heat, which absorbs a lot of the humidity. So in all of the, the big ones, we already did it the next stage that we will cover this. So the heat will not explode out and will take the humidity out. Now, if you see here, these plants, these are very young. We had some, uh, some plants that die over here. We replaced them. You see how they are exploding. But the productivity goes higher because the sunlight doesn't get as much because of the shade of the other sides. So the plant grows up to capture the sun and the productivity or the production, the tomatoes start higher up. Towards these ones, the productivity starts very low.